What is the largest object in the universe? Compared to us humans. Planet Earth is very large. It weighs 6 septillion kilograms. Or the number 6 followed by 24 zeros. But it's not even the largest planet in the solar system. It is a dwarf in relation to giant planets such as Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, and the large planet Jupiter, which weighs 1.9, an actylon, a kilogram. Or the number with a comma, 9, followed by 27 zeros. So what is the largest object in the universe? Researchers have discovered thousands of planets orbiting other stars. Among them are many planets that make the giant planets in our solar system look very small. For example, the planet H, R, 2, 5, 6, 2, discovered in the year 2016, is considered the heaviest planet outside the solar system that has been discovered so far. With a mass more than 30 times that of Jupiter. With such a size, do astronomers describe this giant as a brown dwarf, which makes it a kind of small star? Or consider it a giant planet, the stars themselves can also reach enormous sizes. The star is considered the spirit of 3-6, that is, one of the largest known stars, as its mass exceeds the mass of our Sun by about 265 to 315 times. As it weighs 2, nonillion, kilograms. Or the number 2 followed by 30 zeros. This star is located 130,000 years away in the Large Magellanic Cloud. It is a companion galaxy that orbits our Milky Way. It is so big and bright that the light it emits actually tears it apart. According to a study published in 2010. And the electromagnetic radiation flowing from it is strong enough to carry materials from the surface. This causes the star to lose 16 times the Earth's mass yearly. Are astronomers not quite sure how a star could self-destruct like this? To be shaped. And how long hold? After stars come galaxies on cosmic scales. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has a huge size that boggles minds. It extends over 100,000 light years from end to end. It includes about 200 billion stars. Its mass is 1.7 trillion times that of the Sun. But on the magnitude of our galaxy, it does not compete with the central galaxy in the Phoenix Cluster. The Phoenix Blaster has a diameter of 2 million light years and contains 3 trillion stars. At the heart of these massive galaxies is a supermassive black hole. It is the largest black hole ever observed, with a mass estimated at 20 billion times the mass of our Sun. The Phoenix Cluster itself is a huge accumulation of about a thousand galaxies that revolve around each other and are 5.7 billion light years away. It has a total mass of about 2 trillion suns. Or the number 2 followed by 15 zeros. According to a study published in the journal Nature in the year 2012. But even this massive cluster of galaxies cannot compete with the most massive object in the universe. It is a recently discovered galaxy cluster. It was called SPT-2349. This cluster includes more than 14 individual galaxies of enormous size crammed together, in an area not much larger than the Milky Way galaxy. Eventually, astronomers expect these individual galaxies to come together. To form one giant galaxy that will be the most massive in the universe. But this is the tip of the iceberg as other observations revealed that the total structure contains about 50 additional galaxies, all of which will settle in a body known as the Galactic Cluster, where many galaxies revolve around each other and reach the strength of the previous record as the largest object in the universe, which bears the name of the Gordo Cluster, 
which is equivalent to three quadroon suns, or the number three followed by 15 zeros. But SPT is likely to outpace it 2349 by 4, or at least 5 times. Given that humans have searched only a small part of the sky for such things, more massive objects can exist somewhere in the vast universe. What would it be like if you ended up inside a giant empty bubble? Even if you are not alone there, it will not make you avoid the feeling of a heavy emptiness. Perhaps this is exactly what Kazimir Malevich expressed. In his black square painting. A total emptiness, absolutely nothing, shocked the artist himself. But what if you represented this paradoxical picture with a real scene? Somewhere in space. In the year 1915, Milovic did not know yet, that in 63 years, astronomers would discover some of the strangest places in universe. The strangest spaces between galaxy clusters. Named after, the void. The discovery made in the year 1981 terrified people. American astronomer Robert Kushner and his team have found an epic void in the universe. A giant circular region of space, 330 million light years in diameter. There are no galaxies in it except rarely. And this emptiness, labeled as miserly footy, it is sometimes called the Great Void. According to the astronomer, if the Milky Way was located in the center of the Butts Void, we would not have known about the existence of other galaxies before the 60s of the last century. But as it turned out, we discovered the existence of other galaxies, in the year 1920. The Butts Vacuum is the most empty region of space in the universe as we know it. And in the void of all this, only 60 galaxies were discovered. For comparison, at an expanse of 3 light years, our Milky Way galaxy is adjacent to 24 galaxies. Considering that the average distance between galaxies in the universe is several light years. Then and in a vast region of space, like the emptiness of Potes. There should be more than 10,000 galaxies. The fact that such a void exists has fueled the imagination and ideas of many. And of course, those wishing to visit this region, look wisely and moderately, to be fascinated by such isolation. And due to the huge distances that separate galaxies there, the scene of this void will appear from far space, darker than black. This picture is a perfect example, of the most perfect emptiness in space. Elementary particles such as photons and neutrons slowly roam a vacuum. They are particles whose properties do not change over hundreds of millions of years. Because it scientifically does not face obstacles in its way. As a result of its very low density, Butts's vacuum can be considered an ideal time capsule, which can give us a lot of information. But if you think that what you just learned is about the most terrifying place in the universe, you are wrong. In year 2004, astrophysicists directed their lenses to the cold coming from the planet Erdinov. Where he found an icy hell, it was hidden somewhere out there. Measurements of the remnant radiation, or the cosmic microwave background radiation, have shown that this exceptional place has a much lower temperature than usual, and the coldness indicates a great void, as the radiation loses its energy when it passes through an empty area on its way, which led to the emergence of the so-called CN point. Be cold, microwave radiation map of the universe. Astronomers from Durham University in the United Kingdom have suggested that the super vacuum is a cluster of several smaller vacuums. Each of them is surrounded by galaxies. 
That is, that cluster should resemble foam, consisting of a large number of bubbles, each of which represents a void inside. And the smaller voids, when compared to the surrounding galaxies, was similar to the density of matter elsewhere in the universe. Outside the cold spots, and it appears in the map of the cold places of the universe. WMIB, cold spot, the great airmouth vacuum, which is it opens up many hypotheses, perhaps the most interesting of which suggests that the cold spots are created by the collision of our universe with another cosmic soup, blob. As a member of the astronomical team says, he believes that the cold spots may be the first evidence in the history of the human race, of the existence of the multiverse. In which many parallel universes lie, beside ours. Meanwhile, the great void casts doubt once again on traditional cosmic thinking. And it puts the entire Big Bang Theory right in the crosshairs which is based on the homogeneous distribution of matter in the universe, after the explosion. Consequently, galaxies should be located close to each other, and should not be separated by a large void. According to one of the theories, about the formation of the cosmic void, galaxies tend to gravitate toward each other, leaving behind space. But for such great voids to form, the universe must have existed much earlier than a scientific model posits. Greg Alzerain, who discovered Butts's vacuum, believes that large voids, whose existence cannot be explained, were formed from the merger of smaller voids. Furthermore, Digital Stone Project allows you to clear the sky. Watch what is happening now in the universe. The vacuums appear expanding in all directions, causing the jars to compress outward. It is very terrifying. Is not it? But there is more shocking information. It concerns us directly. In the year 2013, a group of astronomers concluded that the Milky Way was struck, along with the galaxies closest to it. It is located amid a vast void, 2 billion light years long. Scientists have compared the radiation reaching Earth from the closest galaxies to it with those that reach it from far corners of the universe. The image appears as if humanity lives in a remote suburb of a metropolis, where the light of the big city illuminates the night sky of these suburbs more than the light coming out of the windows of its houses, and the houses close to it. That is, we will say to the inhabitants of the earth, welcome, O inhabitants of the cosmic outskirts. Say the study's authors, Ryan Keenan, Amy Berger, and Lennox Gaw, whose initials stand for KBC. The name of the largest relative void. That emptiness is hotly debated in the astronomical community. Its existence will solve some of the fundamental problems. If the KBC exists, then the low density of galaxies in the surrounding space will explain the difference between the values of the Hubble constant, which represents the speed of cosmic inflation. This is one of the most difficult problems of modern astrophysics. Different methods of calculation gave different values for Hubble's constant. In the close part of the observed universe, the expansion rate of the universe is higher than in the outer parts of the universe, but theoretically, the Hubble constant should not change, like any other constant. By changing the methods of measurement. And if the Milky Way is in the heart of a great void, then the matter that intercepts the cosmic microwave background rays will be much less than the average density in the normal universe. Correcting this, experimental data can be reconciled with accurate measurements of the rate of cosmic expansion. Life on the verge of a cosmic void seems dangerous. Perhaps because of this cosmic void, we fiercely struggle with loneliness or seek to be close to other people. Those who arrived here, you are the best people. And as usual, if there is a question that comes to you at night, or during the day and confuses you, write it to us in the comments under the video, so that we can answer it. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and share with others. And for the people who see us for the first time, do a subscribe and activate the bell, so that our videos will reach you first. I see you next episode. Goodbye.